What's up, it's Lynn from Simple Powered Lifestyles. Today I'm wearing the new Frequency Range Racerback Bamboo Top. We also have it in the, well, it's unisex t-shirt as well for men and women. But this is the 852 Hertz linking into the third eye chakra. So that's the, the frequency of the third eye chakra, which is all about I choose to trust, right? Trust your intuition, trust that internal guidance, trust that little knowing that needle inside of you you know so like people are saying that when they're wearing this frequency top they actually feel more in tune so yeah check it out this is the racerback style but we also have the the normal um t-shirt one which is unisex for men and women and uh yeah check it out so today let's do some card readings i thought oops there we go uh might pull from the diamonds within deck the new beginnings deck the inspiration the bling boost so Actually, I think I might just start with the new beginnings. As always, we're coming in and we're just thinking about get, gaining some clarity, insight and direction about where we're going in life. It might be, just be a general question, what do I need to know today? Please show me the way. Or it might be something a bit more specific. So, you know, whatever it is. I always just usually do, uh, what do I need to know today? Please show me the way. Just get some general guidance. So I'm shuffling up, shuffling up, shuffling up. And let's we'll see which cards are going to start falling out, okay? So how's your week been? Things are lifting. Can you feel the energy lifting? It really has lifted this week. You know, stick to the light and you'll be right. Okay. <laughs> Do I spend too much time wandering, wondering, wondering? Rather, procrastination gets us nowhere. It just keeps us going around and around in circles and not going anywhere. So do you spend too much time wondering about what if, what if, and doing absolutely nothing? Maybe that's a little bit of a reminder to, uh, you know, kick up the butt and just get on with stuff rather than sitting there pondering and wandering you know procrastination is just paralyzes you right so let's just start to start with simple small steps just if you're wondering about you know this path in in life or just start putting some energy into motion right start doing something about it get it rolling rocking and rolling okay next one is from the diamonds within let's see what guidance is coming up here oops there it is dropped it so it's very meaningful. It says, every day I become more and more ready to give and receive unconditional love in breathtaking ways. Oh, my gosh, we actually got that card yesterday. So this is a reminder. It's about giving and receiving. It's a two-way dynamic, right? It just doesn't go out. It has to come back in too. So giving you a, every day I become more and more ready to give and receive unconditional love in breathtaking ways and it's all about giving unconditionally like with no expectations nothing attached to it when you're giving but you know it's allowing yourself to receive as well as I said yesterday a lot of empaths empowered empaths uh, are, are, <laughs> are finding it a bit of a struggle but having a bit of a learning curve to learn to receive because if you don't learn to receive the universe says oh you don't want it so we're not going to give it to you they're always giving 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 and then that's an empty vessel it's like if you have a um glass of water and you take half of it out because you give it away well then it, it's uh leaving you half a glass to receive right so what you give out you, you get back but you, when you give unconditionally with no expectation it's amazing amazing what what comes back to you Alrighty, inspiration deck let's have a look so that's interesting that uh this one came up quick um same card in two days oh if you were an animal, what would you be? That is too weird. I was just shuffling it, and that's the card that came out. If you were an animal, what would you be? So this is a very big reminder to, to tune into your spirit animal, your totem guide, whatever it is. Whatever animal that first comes to mind, Google it up and look at the, you know, the spiritual meaning or the totem meaning of it because it's going to provide you with lots of insights. So if it's a lion, what that represents, or a tiger or a, or a koala or a possum or, I don't know, an echidna, I don't know, some animal tortoise i think i said that yesterday too uh a dog a cat whatever it is look at the the strengths around that because lately i've been seeing a lot of the wedge tail eagles and it's very very <laughs> on point with its messages there so whoa this is really that's bizarre two cards exactly the same as yesterday All right i'm shuffling this one <laughs> let's not do the hat trick if you were an animal what would you be so really think about that because the first animal that comes into your mind it's got some messages there for you it might be something about strength or it might be something like when I see dolphins, I always Google that up because they're they're very playful, but they're very in tune as well. So, uh, yeah, very there's messages all around us, like white feathers. That's the angels that are you know that's supporting us, and there's just messages all around us. So animals are very very uh, insightful messages there too. So let's see which card comes out here. This one says, <laughs> "You can have your dreams come true. You can." You can have your dreams come true. It's absolutely, 
you just have to trust, believe, and allow. You have to trust and believe that you're worthy. That came up yesterday too, your worthiness and, you know, self-love, self-worth are the core issues for everybody. And you're trying to step into unconditional, no conditions attached to the your worth and value. That's been a big theme lately. So, you know, when you truly believe in yourself and truly believe that it's possible, then your dreams can come true. So you can have your dreams come true. That's a very empowering affirmation, but you actually have to truly believe it. Truly, truly, truly believe it. Embody those dreams. Just really tune your whole entire frequency, vibration, and energy into truly believing and embodying what you're choosing to create into your life. I'm just feeling one more. I reckon let's push it. Let's push it a little bit further with the growth decade. Let's see what comes up there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Been busy this week. I'm doing the Mind Body Spirit Festival. Long weekend in June in Melbourne, if anyone's around. Ooh, this one keeps shuffling. Um, so that's a bit more work. Be a lot of talking, goodness me. Four days, 10 till 7. That's a lot. Right, let's just have a look here. This card, all this to do. Let's see which one it is. It's the top one. All righty. What is something I'm still holding on to knowing it's time to let go? Oh, my goodness. So for your dreams to come true, you've got to get rid of all the baggage, right? You've got to let, let go of stuff that you, you've been hanging on to. Uh, what is something? It might be physical. It might be emotional. You know, what is this something I'm still holding on to knowing it's time to let go? Well, this is the, the time to do it. This weekend, say goodbye to it, whatever it is. It might be junk in your study. Go and clean that out. Or it might be limiting beliefs and just let it go let it go let it go let it go because this is the time for it to flow Woohoo! Alrighty, so let's do a recap stop worrying and start doing do i spend too much time wandering okay procrastination will get you nowhere just start simple small steps to start whatever it is that you've been putting off just start and uh what was this one every day i become more and more ready to give and receive unconditional love in breathtaking ways so remember it's a dynamic of giving and receiving so for all you givers out there, sit back and learn to receive. It is Mother's Day this weekend, so, you know, for all the mums out there, just sit back and allow yourself to receive because you've been very big givers for a very long time. Okay, just tune in to whatever animal that you're thinking of. If you were an animal, what would you be? Look at the, the characteristics and the strengths of that animal. Google it up because it's very insightful, all the messages that you can get. And you can have your dreams come true. Really step up and start to believe in yourself. It's all about, you know, valuing yourself, your worth, and that, it is, you are lovable, you are worthy, you can do it, and you are um, able to receive it. You know, you, you just are. You just have to believe in it, right, totally believe in it, and let go of whatever it is that you're still holding, holding on to, and you know it's time to let go, so it's time to do it. Throw out those old shoes, whatever it is. Just get rid of it, shut the door, so that you can allow more space for you to receive. Woohoo! pretty cool cards. So with that, I'm complete. I'll catch you tomorrow. All right, bye.